Kenya's doing it, Nigeria's doing it, and township spaza shops have been doing it for ages. Now a Joburg-based company is formalizing and packaging the mobile device charging kiosk. Tenji has the story. So you just stepped off a plane and you feel like the world could be your oyster. But your phone battery's dead and you forgot to charge your mobile phone charger again. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Jet Setter, you are not. Here's how one company is going to help you restore your street cred. A Joburg-based company called Blackground Outdoor has partnered with Dubai company ChargeUp to bring mobile device charging kiosks to some of the most bustling spaces in South Africa, starting with OR Tambo International Airport, where the world's entrepreneurs, business people and media personnel need to stay in touch the most. I was uh, at the airport, actually coincidentally I was at this airport and uh, my battery had run so low, I wanted a place where I could charge the phones. I asked around where I could charge my phone and nobody could tell me where I could charge. And eventually I went to Vodacom and they said to me, no, there's no place where you can charge. Then I thought, well, that must be a brilliant idea. It gives me an opportunity right there. For me, it's a business opportunity. And initially I was looking at uh, something where I could uh, charge people to charge the phones. But the more research I did, I came across this idea and I thought it's a brilliant opportunity really to provide a service to people who want to charge while you give an opportunity for advertisers as well to, to advertise their brands. If you're not one to carry around your charger and its adapter, one of these machines could literally save your life. So once you see that one of the portals is growing green, it tells you that it's available to be used. So all you have to do is choose your adapter, place your phone inside, and before you close and lock it, touch the touch screen, and tell it that you want to charge your mobile device. It'll tell you about the security conditions that you have to accept. From that point on, you tell the machine that you want to use number two. Once the portal glows blue, it means it's ready for you. So after you've chosen your security code, it's also going to ask you to choose a security word. That way, if you forget your password, they can check that it's the right person who wants to access this phone. Once you've done all of that, it's going to glow red and it's ready to be closed. Do make sure that the door is locked so nobody else can get to your phone. It's that easy. Getting back in touch with your networks and family members after falling off the grid is a small fee to pay for maintaining a sense of security and peace of mind. Small business owners might be happy to know that the kiosks will open up opportunities to advertise via videos and artworks on the charging station and the option to complete certain surveys will be presented to those customers who aren't in too much of a rush. The, the biggest consideration obviously was safety because you are putting your mobile device Assuming you've bought a, a, the latest iPhone, you can't want to just leave your mobile device costing 15,000, not knowing that it is safe. So it's safe, you've got to use your own personal created password, and you also have to put in a keyword so that should you forget the, the password, we must, you must call somebody, we must be able to assist you to retrieve the phone. They are built uh, all around it with steel. People have got smartphones, you are always on your social media particularly in public places, you may be at a party, you may be wherever you are in public places, You're, you exhaust your battery quite fast and when you want to charge, you, don't, you can't quite go and try and ask for a cable and a charger and plug it. You want a place where you can quickly go and charge your phone quite fast. And may I add, it's a fast charging technology, which means you can charge within 30 minutes, 20 minutes. You probably would have recharged your phone back to about 30-40%. As the company grows, it hopes to set up stations in shopping centers, gyms or conference centers so you can keep talking the talk even at the end of a long day. Retrieving your phone is just as hassle-free. All you have to do is touch the touch screen again, tell the machine that you want to retrieve your phone, tell it that your phone is in portal number two and put in your security password. It pops open and you can grab your phone continue to talk away. They say if you didn't tweet it, then it didn't happen. But missing out on social media doesn't quite compare to being away from your mobile office at the most crucial of times, or not being able to communicate to your family that you're safe and sound. Hopefully 2015 will be the year that we'll be able to recharge on the go without missing a beat. Oh, hey, yeah, I just landed. <laughs>